These clients came to us in their early 30s, income 60K and $190,000, saving two and a half grand a month. These guys were just getting back into the workforce after having a child, and they were frustrated by the fact that daycare costs, firstly, which I can uh, certainly identify with, but also the fact that they now had some pretty big goals that they wanted to achieve for their family, and they were all just seeming impossible. Their strategy when they came to us was essentially keeping money in their employer share plan, selling down enough to cover their tax bills, and then with the extra spare cash that they had, they were investing into shares, choosing some single stocks, largely in the tech sector. After going through the planning process, they decided to do a few things. The first was that they picked up an extra day of work for mum. Now, this only netted them $10,000 a year after funding the daycare cost, which doesn't seem like it would be worth it on the face of it. But for these guys, it actually increased their borrowing capacity and allowed them to purchase an investment property to start cranking the benefits of good tax deductible debt. Once that was done, they sold down a bunch of their shares and implemented a debt recycling strategy to pay down the mortgage on their own home and convert it into tax deductible investment debt to further drive some tax savings, particularly for the higher income earner dad that was on the top marginal tax rate. Now, the lesson with this one is that returning back into the workforce, it can seem pretty impossible. You're working part-time, you've got higher costs and all of those sorts of things. But for a lot of people, there are opportunities to get more out of the money that you already have. And this is why when you're looking at each decision in isolation, it's a lot harder to see the big picture when you put it all out on a page and you know actually the impact of the different levers, you can often see a clearer path forward with what you already have.